Well, I'm going to lose. Pour some water and the bathroom. <laughs> Too bad, Lowe's is not 24 hours because we'll be here all night. All night long. That sucks. Like I said, we'll still get paid for this um, load that we'll get the rest of it off in the morning. And, um,. I don't know where we going next. We don't have no new load assignment, but we've been doing good every week. So we're going to have an amazing week. Y'all, fun fact about me is I love doing home improvement things. So that's like some other stuff that I'm going to show on my channel. Like... When we moved into our new home, um, this is year three now that we've been homeowners. I did the ceiling fan. I did the um, chandelier. I also put up, like I painted the kids' rooms, put beds and dressers together, of course. But um, what else big did I do? Like I said, I did two ceiling fans one chandelier um oh i did some light fixtures too so yeah oh shoot the bathrooms located outside near entrance doors <laughs> y'all fml like what near entrance doors i hope that's not mean in porta potties Cause ain't nobody got time for no porta potties. Let's see. It's not good. Located outside near entrance doors. Let's see. That's the exit doors. Yeah, me no likey. Mm -mm. This is not cool at all. Let's see. Oh, look at this. <laughs> That's interesting. Yo, that just put in perspective though, like it is July. So I guess, yeah, October, right around the corner. Like seeing Halloween stuff is crazy. That's crazy. Ooh, look at this patio furniture. All right, see, hold up. We on a bathroom mission first, but then we gonna look around. Ooh, y'all, y'all know I've been, well, y'all probably don't know, but I have been really loving these. Oh my goodness. And I don't know, what is it called? I don't see a tag, but I mean, obviously I would have to wait. Oh, here we go. This is called a, I don't know. But all I do see is that it's $160. What is it called? Pink Velour Multi. I don't know. I feel like that's not the name of it. That's more like the color. Anyway, I want this in the front, in my front yard something like this I came around this way because um, I'm trying to get out I'm trying to go through the front entrance like they said the bathrooms are located in the front and so y'all know like Lowe's they got like exit and entrance hi excuse me where's your restrooms at I see that they're out of order yeah, there. I, I was trying to get go outside to go back in through the entrance. Yes. Okay. Oh, it's the porta potties. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. 
<laughs> so, oh gosh, y'all, this was my biggest fear. Like, I know this might be TMI, but good thing I don't need to take a number two. Like, this is um, this is what we're working with, and I don't even think this would be 24 hours, but obviously, like, probably during those hours. But it's this, like, in that white vehicle is the porta potties. Oh. Oh, this is a porta potty. And then that's the sink. <laughs> but this right here. All right, I'm going to go in. I'm not going to record, so I'll be back. So Rich ain't gonna be too happy about that. <laughs> oh gosh, y'all, I can't believe it. Like we've only been over here one other time and the one other time we've been over here, like their bathrooms were really nice and clean actually. So I'm surprised that their bathrooms are like under maintenance right now, but I don't know, who knows? It's been a minute. I think it was like three or four months since we've been over here, but let's get into this greenery because I, um, like I was saying before, I love home improvement stuff and we've been like doing a lot of traveling, like basically, um, Ooh, those are pretty, but pink is like my thing right now. Like I've been loving a lot of pink stuff. So we've been doing like a lot of like traveling on our time off. So basically when we go home, it's like we're going home, then we're packing and we're going on vacation. So I haven't had no time to really like do like home improvement stuff. And oh, that purple is pretty. So, and let me tell y'all, like these little cheap flowers, like this is 848. These little cheap flowers, they be taken to the soil so well. Like when I get home, I'm gonna show y'all like how my little like i got like something that looked like this out in the front and they've been they've been hanging around for like over a year now and they, i didn't even pay 25 dollars for them because they started off like just a little small like little situation like this they were like six dollars like in like a little small pot like that and when i tell you that them things are like looking like this or even bigger and they were like five or six dollars um so don't sleep on like the little the little uh, potted plants or whatever to put a little pop of color in your little shrub area and stuff. Like I can't wait to um go home. Where's the entrance at? Down here. I think I passed it. I can't wait to go home and like really be able to focus on my little garden area. yeah that's really pretty y'all i don't even know how i came out that area so i'm just going to walk around to the front i can't find the entrance to where i just came out of but i want to go back over there where the plants was at but basically i want to take time and do stuff around the house because like i have a lot of ideas like i want to paint i want to like redo like the guest room I want to do our backyard. Like I have so many ideas of things I want to do around the house. Those are pretty too. So basically I need to get home so I can do these things that I want to do. So yeah. Like, I don't even know, y'all probably don't know this. Some of you do, but I took a year off of driving trucks in 2022. And in that year I took off, this is nice. In that year I took off, I started my own braiding salon. So I transformed my den into a braiding salon. And um, now that I'm back in the truck, my den is still a braiding salon. Well, a salon. So, you know, I do just basically everybody in my house is head other than my husband. He's he's bald, as y'all know. But me and the kids, we get our hair done in the salon. 
in our den. That's nice. Are these silk plants? Oh, no, that's very real. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love beautiful plants. Like I have, I don't have a green thumb by any means, but I am wanting to learn like how to keep plants alive. Oh my gosh. And I'm just starting to really be drawn to greenery. Like, oh my goodness. Y'all, it's like a real thing. Like I am like wanting to, oh my gosh. Like I have, oh, it's just a vision that I have for my backyard is in the front. I just can't wait. Like I'm gonna take y'all along on that journey as well, if that's something you would be interested in. Like anything with color, it's like it draws me. Like we be riding down the um, interstate and they be having like the weeds that be like in the middle of the interstate be like looking so beautiful and i'd be like i'd be thinking if those weeds can thrive on the interstate and like we'd be like in places like new mexico like hot ass places i'd be like if they can thrive out there then i know i can keep them alive like they can thrive you know we live in florida and yes it is typically hot there but oh those look bad those are not thriving but Basically, I'd be like, if they can thrive out here, <laughs> you know, I can definitely keep some things alive. So, this is just so beautiful. Even this, like, at this point, y'all, I'm just going to have a mixture of flowers in my garden because every time I see something, I'd be like, ooh, I want that, I want that. Like, see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, these little things right here, I got these in my garden right now. Yo, those things have been hanging in there for a whole year. So they done went through the winter season, and now it's summer. And when I tell you, it's like I had three little small pots y'all see how small these pots are right i had three of those little small pots and now when when i go home i'm gonna show y'all like it's like I, my sections my three sections are like this big each like those suckers three dollars for the pot so don't don't sleep on um you know the little cheap flowers and stuff like that like you don't have to pay a whole lot to have like a really nice garden situation. Oh my goodness. Right? The purple. And that red looks really nice. But see, like stuff like, at least how that looks dead, that, that's a discouragement for me. That makes me feel like the upkeep, like the maintenance on it is a little too much for me. Cause you know, like we are truck drivers. I'm not home all the time. I need something that's like, don't need a lot of maintenance. Um, Cause I love my children, but you know, at the end of the day, they, they do what they can. Like they're, they're not about to be like really tending to my plants the way I need them to, you know? I do offer like incentives and stuff like that. Like I, I would tell the kids like, all right, first of all, they do get an allowance, but you know, I'll throw like a little something extra on just to encourage them. Like, hey, you know, go feed the plants outside and stuff. But you know, cause it's, it's kids at 14 and 18. So, you know. Maybe need a little encouragement. I think this is a peace lily right here. I had one a while ago, it was really small and it didn't make it, what is it called? This is a giant bird of paradise. Okay, well, the leaves are giving me like peace lily vibes, but. 
I ain't gonna lie, I don't know much about plants, so <clears throat> don't quote me on nothing. It's beautiful though. My vision for the back. I want to put down some pavers, like kind of like how this is looking. And they got all different types of pavers. So basically just finding the pavers that, you know, me and Rich agree on. And I want my grill to sit on it. Because that part is not shaved. So, you know, like realistically, like who's really going to be just sitting out there all the time. But I just like the idea of having like around the screen patio paid look at the look at these these are probably more pricey like just one slab is like 19.98 but i like those like they're like outdoor porcelain pavers these are some different ideas for them so i don't know i gotta do more research on what type of pavers but i i do like what i see this is nice too these like go around the shrub shrub area here go some more though i actually like those i'm actually like rocking with those like i might go ahead and do some of these um it looks like these are 6.98 per slab and it looks like they're called trailway stone victorian i like that look i like this look and i like this too but i'm more so feeling this so well, these are interesting as well these are pavers but Oh no, I don't like how flimsy that is. I want something more concrete because like I said, I want to extend the pavers out from the patio, make it so the grill is sitting on it. Also the, um, like a couple of chairs or whatever. So when we're grilling out back, then we have that not on the grass, but just like on a more like concrete type of foundation. And then also when the dog is going out to use the bathroom and he's coming back in from out back, he's not bringing in all that sand. Florida, you know, the grass, the foundation of the land is like sand, you know, it's just, it just is what it is. And so, I don't know, it's so annoying when he comes in, although he comes in from the outside area from the grass area he comes in and he's now on the patio which is concrete but it's like still then when he comes in the house he's still kind of bringing in some sand and you know of course like we be telling like the kids like wipe off his paws before he come in but you know i mean 14 and 18 and it's mainly my 14 year old son like he ain't really doing all of that y'all so anyway um you know he does he does good though jacoby does good i'm not complaining i'm just saying you know realistically like they're not going to do like how we want them to do it so i feel like to help that problem if we get some pavers to kind of go around because it's grass out back but it's like closer that you get to the screened in patio it's like a bunch of sand so anywho but well, this was fun this is like getting my whole like, you know, inspiration going. <laughs> I think this is all like faux stuff, but it's still freaking cute. Especially the little dog right here. Yeah, that's definitely fake, um, but it's still cute. I don't even know. I don't know what purpose I would have for anything like that, but it is still cute. So just in those, just getting a bunch of inspiration. Like, like I said, um, after, all right, I don't think I finished what I was saying before about the trip. So after we go on this cruise in August, then we have another cruise for our anniversary in November. But after that, I only have one thing planned for 2025 and that's the end of 2025. So I think I'm going to, and don't hold me to this, but I really do think I'm going to put a halt on the vacation in for a little bit. You cannot be for real. Oh my God, you for real. No, you for fake. No, you for real. Hey, hey, and come here. look at me, hey. Look basically at me. Say, just no. come here. start look at me. doing hey. some home improvement look at me. stuff because no. come here. Look at me. Hey. again i hey. enjoy doing hey. that type of stuff ah. and look. we've been no. living in our house now for three years we purchased our home in 2021 
and basically I don't know I just I have a lot of different things I want to do around the house like I it's just you know and then being in here is like really inspiring me and this is why I try to stay out of places like this because this is like oh my gosh y'all look at this a cabana shed so like It is multifunctional, but at the same time, it's like either you're using it for your shed or you're using it to be um, <laughs> some type of situation for like, I don't know, like when you have guests over and you know, you can basically serve stuff out of there. I don't know. Like that's pretty awesome though. I have no idea what, I, what use I would have for that, but I have the space in the back. We are on the acre. So I, mean, I just feel like, yeah, that, could potentially be something back there. I want a pool in the back too, though. I want a pool, but you know, pool costs that that moolah. And although, you know, truckers, we make some good money, and we just gotta prioritize some things if we want to make that happen realistically. Because you know, who want to keep taking out all these loans on these big loans on these big purchases? Like, I would like to, if we build a pool in the back, I would like for, I would like to at least have half of what what it costs so if the pool costs fifty thousand, then i need to have twenty five thousand to be able to say all right here we go so that's that's the whole thing with that i don't know i'm just rambling y'all i'm just walking around loose just taking in we already got a nice fridge we, we have nice appliances like a nice fridge nice washer all that stuff like all that bathroom stuff or whatever our stuff is really nice. So thankfully, like we pretty much how, when we got the house built, we pretty much put the appliances and all of that good stuff. We already had got all of that stuff put into the house when we built it. So now it's just like the little, you know, painting and home improvement stuff, like, like decor stuff and painting is really what I need to focus on. It's what I want to focus on. Don't need countertops. I'm actually looking for the carpet because Jacoby, his room, part of his room, it's a section in there that needs to be replaced because he done wore out that damn carpet from being on his VR and I guess being in the same spot and like he acting like he don't know that that carpet feel different in that spot, but it's all ran down. And then the dog was in the guest room one day. No, let me rephrase that. The kids put the dog in the guest room one day and the dog he don't like uh being confined to no spaces he can't get out of and so he started clawing at the rug in the house like in the room i meant and so now in my guest room right at the doorway it's like he done clawed at the floor I was pissed because I'm like, why would y'all put him in there? Like, why y'all lock him in there? And their reason was because, oh, there was a delivery guy. This is actually my carpet upstairs. I think just looking at it first sight, I think this is it. So I basically just need like a couple of square footage of this for Jacoby and for the guest room. If it's not this exact brown, it's in that family. Like it's one of those. And they're reasonably priced. Like... I probably pay like 30 bucks for it. But I already looked on, you know, YouTube University <laughs> on how to replace the carpets. Like I know how to do the padding and everything like that. Like I already know the method that I'm gonna use to do it. So I pretty I just need to do that project and I'm gonna share that with y'all when I do it. But anyway, back to the story, the kids was like that it was a delivery person at the door and oh we didn't want Garvey to you know be in the way so we put him in the room I'm like why would y'all put him in the guest room like okay there's there's a lot of different ways y'all could have handled that first of all like my dog like he is not about to run outside like he's not even they already know this they were just doing the most but like let's say you did just want to close him up because you wanted him out the way or whatever while you get your pizza the den downstairs has doors and that's all downstairs is floor and they could have just put him in the den closed the door got the food then let him back out boom that handles situation <laughs> so to speak and then we wouldn't have this issue with my carpet but 
again guys they're kids kids are gonna be kids you know they had to hear my mouth about it I threatened to make them pay for it <laughs> the, for, for repairing the carpet by taking their allowance I didn't do it though but I did threaten them to do that and so sometimes I'd be wanting to put down turf I, be, I really be considering that because the dog but uh, got more carpet I'm not gonna do that I mean we got like you know our grass looks good our lawn looks good so it's kind of like why I do that but it just sometimes it crosses my mind so now he's going to college and she's gonna need a rug I doubt I get the rug from here though so let me just keep moving but oh how cute is that wipe your paws we have a mat that say, what does our mat say? It says, love and light. I wanted to say it says the Bly family, but it actually, no. It says love and light. <laughs> that means I know what my doormat says. That's a testament to how often I'm not home. Every time I go home, then I'd be like, <laughs> they be feeling like I'm in the, I'm on vacation, like I'm in a new spot. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's trucker's life. I'm done in Lowe's. Oh, I'm not. I gotta go get some water. <laughs> not me about to leave Lowe's and ain't get the water that I said I was gonna come in here and get. You know what? The whole bathroom thing threw me off. But anyway, yeah, this was fun just to get out the truck. Look who I see. Who the handsome guy right there? I wonder I wonder if this guy is married right here. <laughs> I wonder if this man is taken. Uh, so let me get your reaction <laughs> when I tell you this. Their bathrooms are under reconstruction modeling, so they got the porta potties out front. <laughs> just going to chill in the truck eat watch TV do some editing and that's about it so if I don't see y'all anymore today then I will catch y'all tomorrow